I can't stress this enough, the texture of this kebab meat. I'll get some of this red stuff though, so I can show you again to the camera. This is not your standard donut kebab. Welcome to another video guys. We're in Walkden outside Exotica restaurant at the moment. So to be completely transparent, I tried the one in Rochdale a few weeks ago and did a written review on my Facebook page. It wasn't that impressive, but after following these guys on social media ever since they opened, I've got a feeling it might be a different quality inside the restaurant compared to the one in Rochdale. And look who I've brought with me this time. Guess who's back? Let's have it. This place looks absolutely banging. I've just walked through, got a bit of class about it. Bonus is between 12 and 4 in the week, 40% off your bill, which is a massive chunk. You ought to see the food that we've ordered there in there. Just gone in. The owner's mint. Listen, the proof's in the food and you're about to find out, but with regards to the, the premises itself and the owner, bang on point for me. So yeah, really excited about it this one. It looks really fancy on the inside. As I said, we've already been in, we've got a table, we've got things set up. We've ordered what we want to try and review. So let's get involved. Peace. Right then, so here we are in Exotica at the restaurant that's in Walkden. It's been a long time coming. It's taken about half an hour for them to cook all of the, the various food that we've ordered here. And we've ordered this completely on our own back. Um, he suggested some food items, but we've gone for basically what tickles our fancy more than anything else. Yeah. And as you probably will see from the, the B-roll in just a minute, there's quite a selection for us to go through. Yeah, I mean, he waited until we'd all ordered a kebab to then say, oh, I would also suggest the salt and pepper chicken and chips. I'd also re uh, recommend the, the hot plate sizzler and it, and then the red donut meat as well. I mean, there's too much food here and I think we're gonna be eating for a week. However, it looks incredible. It does. It eats well with your eyes, but I guess the proof's in the in the taste, but 40% yeah. off the, me the menu is, is good, but if you didn't have 40% off, yeah. so is it slightly expensive? This has to be a talking point, unfortunately. So if I hold this up to the camera. Now, don't get me wrong. I know this is like a post COVID world, um, but it's expensive. I'll give you that. Like 15, 16 quid for most of these kebabs. And don't get me wrong. It, visually, it looks okay if I hold this up to the camera, but is that worth 15, 16 pound without this 40% discount? I wouldn't say so. Um, more to do with the proportion size. And the fact this is a kebab, would you be happy paying 15 pounds for a kebab that looks like this? I mean, I'm not saying that in like a derogatory way, I'm saying like the portion size, you'd expect a 15 pound kebab to be like a mountain of meat, wouldn't you? You see, I think they're quite big personally, but obviously you're a bigger eater than me. But um, another thing to note is you can mix and match everything. You can chop and change, you can have it as a sash slick, you can have it as a, almost like a stir fry. Um, there was also other options, but and then there's heat levels. It's almost like Nando's in with different, you know, you've got the lemon and herb. Yeah, and then so break it down from the menu, it says original bad boy sauce, which is apparently a TikTok viral, whatever that means. Um, flaming bad boy sauce, barbecue flavor, lemon and herb, and peri peri. So I went for the stupid bad boy hot one because, well, let's face it, I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, come on. So what have you got? You've gone for which was? I've gone for the, the mixed meat, which is Donna meat. The 50-50 one. And chicken tikka. Okay, yeah. so he's paid 15.95. We've, we've moved these around for the purposes of pictures and so on, so I think that's the, the bad boy one. Um, I've gone for the house special, which is one of these. Oh, let's get involved. So I'll hold this up to the camera first of all, so you can get a glimpse of the quality of the Donna meat.
this is definitely the hot one. I've definitely got the hot one. Definitely. Mm. One thing to note, this vibrant yellow sauce you can see is not shop bought. Sorry, I'm trying to swallow that piece of yeah. So, so the owner did mention saying they make all these yellow sauces mm. in, in house, so it's not your bag standing off the shelf supermarket sauce. Yeah, this is like a garlic mayo, and even though it's yellow, it's made from scratch by the chef, which I like them sort of notes where, you know, they've gone right down to the sort of garlic mayonnaise. They've sort of gone all out and really made, made a difference, and you can tell, you can taste that. That's probably the best garlic mayonnaise I've ever had in my life. It's nice, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It really is. So again, I'll bring this up to the camera. One thing I've noticed for this, this kebab, the donor at least, is it actually has a texture of meat. It's got mm. meaty flavors. It's actually really nice, in all honesty. Um, yeah. When I reviewed the one in Rochdale a few weeks ago on Facebook, it was a written review, but I shown from the pictures, it's completely different stuff to this stuff. Mm. I just had a bit some. I've obviously got the donor and chicken mix. Chicken's tender. Really succulent. Loads of flavour, but I think even though I've gone for the the uh, the, uh, the Bombay bad boy or whatever it was, it's it's the hot the hottest sauce that you can get on it. I mean it's made with naga chili. And naga, you know, it's 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 pretty high up on the chili spectrum with regards to heat. But for some reason, even though that's spicy. It's really delicate. That's not blowing. You could eat that all night. That's not like, oh my god, get me the water quick. That's more just a level playing field. Awesome. For me. It's just I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, I tell you what, I'd get it again. That's for sure. Sure. So I'll show you some of the the chicken. Okay. It's got a nice charred bark to it. It's not you run in the milk chicken. Can I try some of your spicy donut? Please get involved. I'll try and hold this to the camera as well. Yeah. It's so saucy as well, you know. Dead, dead saucy. It's dead saucy. So hold this up to the camera. You see how saucy that is? Me personally, it's perfect heat. That's just right, that's, the, that's how I like it. That's the spice level I like. Do you get what wow. I'm saying with the flavor? There's so much flavour in it. But yeah, you can tell it's this heat, and then there, there is a subtle naga sort of level in there, but it's palatable. Again, with the, the texture of it as well. I can't stress this enough, the texture of this kebab meat. I'll get some of this red stuff though, so I can show you again to the camera. This is not your standard donna kebab. Granted, it's caked in sauce, as you can see from this, this picture here. It is caked in sauce, but I'm happy to say it's not masking anything. It's, and that's it's the problem nice with these, a lot of these kebab places that you go to, when they say, oh, it, we've got this signature sauce and the Adonami comes in and it's bright red, it's because they're trying to hide the fact that it's not very good quality Adonami, you know what I mean? Whereas this, is, well, it's, it's lamb, we're eating lamb, you know what I mean? There's no, you're eating nothing but lamb, obviously you've got all the flavours, but you know what's working well with that heat? Trust me, get the hot one when you come here because it's banging, but that garlic mayo, just, it's like, it's almost like a, having an ice pop at the same time. <laughs> it's like this, it just cools everything with it. It's like a nice aioli, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just great. Try and hold this up, show you that glistening kebab meat. I mean, obviously we've, we've highlighted that it is on the pricier side, the quality of food that you're getting, the volume of food you're getting, is good. And I think with the 40% off, I would really recommend coming before, was it five o'clock? Before four. Before four o'clock, Monday to Friday. If you've got a day off, come in the day, because all this food that you've seen in this VT now, it's come to about 65 quid. And there's gonna be, there'll be about nine people eating this by the time we get it boxed up. It's unbelievable, but do me a solid, brother. Slide that red donut over it. I've had my eye on it for ages now, and I've seen YouTube. Hold up to the camera first. 
what's it like? What's your opinion of it? So what, what's on this one? So I think this is just your standard red donut that he wants to us, wants us to try. He wanted a, oh shit. Yeah, just to, to sort of express the fact that it's not crap. And I agree, it's not crap. No. Um, mm. Yes, it's caked in sauce and that's like a marinade, but as I said, refreshingly different because it's a fact of, it's actually decent quality meat. It's not just crap meat that's masked by sauces. And I say it all the time, <coughs> but it's a written review on these videos. Sauces can mask a thousand sins, yeah. and this is a very rare occasion where it's not. This is legitimately yeah. tasty donut meat. It's got a nice texture to it, it's got a nice flavour to it. The sauce is almost like a sweet barbecue esque sort of flavour. It's really nice. I hate this. Mm. I hate it when there's this much food and you just think, oh, I just don't want to leave. I want to stay forever. Look at the right thing. But because uh, we are going to have to smash some of this, but flavor, honestly, when I, I can't, like what you were saying before, you know, how much are you willing to pay for a kebab when it's this, this, the identity of a kebab. But for me, if you're smart enough with it, which that chef clearly is, or the, the team of chefs that are doing it, they're mixing flavors really well. So yeah. everything's complementing everything that you're having, and then everything is suggested and mentioned to us, you go, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting that, I'm feeling that, I'm tasting that. And, and you can tell that when they're talking to you about it, they're as passionate about when they're serving you as they are when they're making it. Yeah, one I would bring choice. my family here anytime. The customer service so far has been amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's just not the fact that obviously we're coming here to review, it's not, oh. um, we're not hiding the fact that we're here to review food. We don't. But from the other people, the other, people, the other punters that are here, mm. they've been treated exactly the same way. <laughs> right, so, so what's on this then? So this, if we're going straight into this, I think is the platter. Um, oh yeah, the sizzling platter. Yeah, the sizzling platter. So I'll this up to the camera. You can be able to see. It weighs a ton. Could be the fact that it's a cast iron pan or anything else, but you know, it weighs. Almost <coughs> like a cabida on top, if I'm honest. It does look like a cabida, doesn't it? In fact, <laughs> I'm trying to eat four things at once. I'll hold this up to the camera to show you. Nice little bag, you can see all the flavours going on inside there. Mm. That is juicy. Mm. It tastes more like a shish than a kibita, so I think it might be a shish kebab. Let's taste it. Whatever it is, it's well nice. Woo. Something that I was getting to, sorry about the kick there as well. So you some uh, the chicken that's involved. It was the theatre of it as well. Obviously, you can't see it now. Because Ian's been filming this for 10 minutes. But when this came out... Ooh, the pot's got done on it. It was sizzling. Smoke. It almost looked like it was like flames. It was the theatre of it appearing on the table when they brought it out, and it was just wow. It was one of them wow things, wasn't it? It's a shame we didn't have the cameras going when he brought it out because that in itself is a spectacle. You you sort of almost think that there's going to be a candle in it when they brought it out to you. Mm. I mean, what are we on? It's dinner time. It's getting busy in here already. Um, just as he was talking about this, his left is there. Two gentlemen over there that have just started with the They've just thing. got the sizzle, you can hear it from here, can't you? Yeah. I mean, if you wanted like a one stop bit of everything where you get all a bit of everything, that has got pretty much a bit of everything. Like you said, I didn't know that there was going to be done on me. I didn't there. either, but it's almost like a salt and pepper flavour. And there's a, a lamb chop that's involved. So don't get me wrong, it's not the biggest lamb chop in the world, but I think there might be two in there, or there is two in there. Chin chin. You've got a bigger one, but either way. Oh, fine. here we go. <laughs> I, 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 I knew you'd say that. Mm. It's all over me. Is it me? Or are you getting citrus? Yeah. Are you get the citrus off it. Mm. It's got like a. It's literally all over your face. So it's very tasty. It's got the, the charcoal sort of flavour to it. It's got a bit of a zestiness to it, which most lamb chops when you do it, 
especially on a barbecue anyway. We'll come through that flavor. Yeah, but I, I kind of like the fact that everything on there tastes different. I thought that was just going to be like some big, massive stir fry, all the same flavor, but not the lamb chops are citrusy. The chicken is like tikiri and creamy. I think there's two different, different chickens. There's this one and there's this deep red one. So oh, I think right. that's... Oh, I've had the light one. But then this, you said, oh, there's a bit of something. This is very heavily seasoned. The Kabida or the, the seat. I think that's the other one, I don't know if it's Sean. I think you've it's might chicken tikka and that might be like a Malai all, chicken maybe. You've almost got to dislocate your jaw. Mm. Get it in, 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 did you hear my jaw clip then? The portions are massive. For me, I think the portion's quite big. That's big. Um, <clears throat> Tell you the price of this, I'll have to look at this in just a minute. Where's this, where's this oh. red chicken then? I've just had a piece of it, I might bring the last one, maybe. Yeah, it might have been the last one. So here's some of the, the lighter colored chicken, which is like my chicken to me. So that's juicy. It's not as flavorful as the other piece of chicken, to be honest. It's quite a subtle flavor. I just dipped it in the, the garlic mayo. You know, what, you know what we've not done? We've not done a bread run, have we? Well, let's get involved in this salt, pla salt and pepper one before we do Sorry, bread. boss. <laughs> I won't eat that yet. So we've got a salt and pepper platter as well, which I'll hold up to the camera. You'll be able to see this. Oh. Try to drop it. Uh, so salt and pepper plate, let's read the menu. Salt and pepper chunks with potato chips. Um, $16.95 for this. I love that on the menu. It, they don't say chips, they say potato chips. Cheers, buddy. They say potato chips. Not too sure what else you make chips out of, to be honest. So, don't get me wrong. I love salt and pepper anything. If you got this from a Chinese, you'd get more chips. You'd probably get the same amount of chicken in there. Yeah. The onions, the peppers. And you, what, you're talking two pound, three pound maybe for a portion of chips, and the chicken maybe another six pound. So I'm charging 16, 17 pound for, for this is quite a lot if you ask me. When's the last time you went for a Chinese? Salt and pepper, chicken and chips at mine, the cost at least 12 quid now. Well, that's expensive. But yeah, is this something I'd order when I, when, I, when I do come back? Because I can assure you, I am coming back. No. 16, 17 pounds. This doesn't have anywhere near the same sort of flavors as these. These are much more punchy than the salt and pepper chips. I completely Don't get agree. me wrong, it's nice enough. It's nice, it's salt um, and pepper chicken and chips. But yeah, it's a familiar it's exactly taste. What it is. It's, it's a staple, you know what it is. You know what it is and you, they've done it, they've executed it, but same as anyone else. It's just, like I say, salt and pepper it always sells and sells well. I understand why it's on the menu. However, you're making the homage down here to, to Walkden, especially for this place, that's well known for its kebabs. Come for a kebab yeah. and a sizzler, for sure. My opinion, don't be scared of getting the hot one because it's got layers and, and that's a good thing. It's got layers where I'm almost thinking of asking if I can have some to take home in a little pot or something because it's so good that sauce I, w I was almost expecting to be like cringing and you was all laughing at me because my, my head was being blown off because let's face it we've done a few of them videos but no I would get that day in day out so go back to the bread I don't know if you've tried it yet it's crispy in the right parts mm. soft in the middle you can tell it's done in a tandoor um, bread's really nice and you know, you know what's great about it because obviously you get the option of having it with chips or bread when you order any of these kebabs get chips on the side don't miss out on that bread because that bread is literally capturing every bit of flavour that comes off that don of meat off yeah. all your mayonnaise everything and you're making yourself the coolest little burrito ever <laughs> at the end of the night so go for the naan every time in my opinion same anyway. as when you go for a curry I mean this, this 
I think there's curries as well. Yeah, yeah, they do. They've got a full so Indian menu. So when I'm at home and you've seen pictures that I put on Facebook, when I have a curry, I have it exactly the same as this. So I have a nan across the bottom and then put my rice on top, my chips and then my curry on top of that because mm -hmm. the nan absorbs all the, the flavour. After which you've not got a dirty plate. I mean, don't be wrong, you'd still wash it, but you haven't got a dirty plate. All the flavour soaked into your nan and you eat that. Mm. Got a life hack for you Good there. Good tip. Good tip, mate. Listen, my advice, as well as a nan trick, don't come smartly dressed or bring a bib. <coughs> what that? It's not spicy. <coughs> I have spoke to you. No, it is beautiful, beautiful. It did catch me then. But yeah, wear a bib, maybe a scuba outfit. I don't know. Wear something that's wipeable because it's all over me. Because I'm just smashing it into my face. I can't get enough of it. It's well good. I would feel like I'm clearly going to rate this place higher than you. Speaking of which, mm. let's get down to it. Right. Is it the best kebab I've ever had in the world? No. Is it in my top five? Maybe. And I've had a lot of kebabs, but I'm just trying to put on the spectrum the ones that we've had, you know, think about at least like, I'm not name dropping anywhere, but you, you know the places where we've been and they've been decent, but is this up there? I'd have to say, yeah, I think the only thing that's dragging it down slightly is the price, but this is the sort of place you can come on a date night. You bring your missus here or your respective brother and you'd have a great night. The atmosphere's great, it's really cool in here and like I say, the food's incredible. I mean, we're sat in this really cool booth. You could sit here all night, get yourself a couple of beers and that. It's, it's night out worthy. When you think of kebabs, you think, oh, come, come tell out the boozer and I'm about to chuck up, so I need to, I need to, 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 to eat something. And you're walking home and it's all the way, all the way down the front. Where is this? This is an eating kebab. So I get it why it's a bit more expensive, but my advice is to get bang for your buck, come in the day, Monday to Friday, before four o'clock. And I'm giving this a solid eight. Okay. So to mirror some of the comments from Craig there, is it nice? Absolutely. Is it really tasty? Yeah. Is it? Probably more top five kebabs ever. I would say so too. But I can't ignore the fact you're paying 15, 16 quid for a kebab. Um, those who've been a follower of the page for a while would know value for money is very much something that I focus on on this page. And don't get me wrong, it's very glamorous, it's very posh on the inside, it's, it's decorated immaculately. I can see they've spent a lot of money on, on furnishing the place. Yeah. But 16 pounds for a kebab is a lot of money. It's like a, a gentrified kebab, really. It's a posh kebab. But posh in the sense, it's not being new to it, it's just nice quality meats. The salt and pepper, I can take a leave, that's just kind of neither here or there, it's nothing stand out. The sizzler platter there was really tasty as well. Mm -hmm. Heavy on the salt and pepper flavours on there as well, it's quite a lot of chilli taste. The lamb donna, I'm happy to say, is as good as a lot of the people on social media would make out to be. Yeah. Um, so I can't really complain too much about the, the quality of the, the meats there. Um, the chicken is also really, really tasty. The bread's where it needs to be. The sauce is the wild factor. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Go on then, give us a score. So yeah, I would probably go 8.5. Wow. It's not often I go higher than you, but yeah, no. that really ticked the boxes for me. Yeah, no. And like I say, the last thing to point out, if you miss it, it's always my opinion to go for a pack, to go for the meal. Never go on a date, never go on a date, and you go. I just want to kick back and have a kebab. Bring her here. She's happy, you're happy. <laughs> Until you get the bill. <laughs> Definitely come down during the day because, as I said, those prices, and I'll hold this up to the camera again, uh, these prices are not to be sniffed at. Um, overall, it's expensive. Can't hide the fact of that. And that's the biggest detractor for me is not the food, it's just the pricing. It's to the point where it's almost, I don't want to say insulting because it's not, it's just, it's entering its own price bracket where they're kind of playing by their own rules a little bit. And some people like myself might see that as a bit of a detractor. No, but like I say, you've got eight point five, which is you know it's right up there for me. Uh, I completely agree. Um, but yeah, I'd come here again. In fact, kids, if you're watching, we'll come in. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I mean, we're definitely going to come back because what's it took me to get here twenty minutes today from Stratford? It's worth the drive all day for that sort of food. But yeah, uh, I say let's wrap it up. Let's give it a mull back and get it wrapped up because there's no way I'm leaving all this. I'm going to finish mine and maybe some of that red dinner. But yeah, on that note, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.